leaders in the racetrack. Those last 12 laps, you were spot on, flawless. Did you even look in the mirror, or did you just hit your marks and race the racetrack? I raced the track. I did look in the mirror on the straightaway just to make sure I had a good gap so I could run you know, 98, 99%. Because 100% yeah. is treacherous here. <laughs> you know what I mean? so, um, there was times in the race where it was, you know, great against the wall, three and four, and you know, you know, you were, you know, in the danger zone. And there was times where you, know, you just made sure you were in the right position and, and to take care of your car to get to the end because it's it's a long race. But um, at the end, I felt pretty good about what we had. We were holding a nice lead, and uh, the car was the best it had been all night, so I was pretty comfortable. Martin, there's a long list of reasons that I admire you, but your talent level uh, is very obvious. You've proven that time after time. But the thing that I admire most, I believe, is last week you had a really good race car at Michigan. You come in for what would seem to be a normal four-tire stop. A little problem with the, the pit stop, uh, messed up the body some. You weren't as good, uh, didn't have the finish that you wanted. But we've never heard a word from you about that. You come here tonight, uh, don't have the best car, but you've got a really good car. Your pit crew does 11.2 stop on the last one, gets you out front, and you get out of the race car uh, praising them.